Hey guys, so I'm at Juniper Springs and it's not a bad little place. You know, it's got this nice spring fed pool that you could swim in. It's got a water wheel. It's got these, uh, you know, underground springs that you see bubbling up through the sand. Um, there's some history here, something to do with Teddy Roosevelt and building the mill in this whole area, but in like a hundred days, I don't know. I'm not good with history and didn't really read it, but there is a nice uh, walking trail, wildlife trail, but uh, didn't really see much, but uh, some squirrels and a vulture. Um, there is a campground, but it's a little too civilized and expensive for my taste. So I just paid the $5 uh, entrance fee. And since I haven't showered in five days, I decided to go for a swim. Uh, the only issue is the water is a little cold and it's overcast. So, you know, keeping people away. Uh, it's, gonna, it's actually just started raining. Um, you know, I don't know if you can see the water hitting the, the thing, but you can also see all these cool little fish underneath here. I think I'm gonna venture in because I need to get clean. You know, I paid my 550, so I'm taking a bath. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, waist deep, and I think I'm just gonna make the plunge because I can't feel, can't feel anything below my waist. <sighs> a little shallower so that I can stand. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's refreshing. Oh. Now let's see if I can get all those little fishies to come play. It's actually really amazing how blue it looks underwater. But from up top, it's kind of kind of murky. Oh, I guess from this angle, it looks good. It's mostly sand. Apparently, I'm not a strong swimmer. Swimming with one hand on the camera, it's kind of a struggle. But I do what I can, and I do what I want. Ooh, fish. Was refreshing but I think this uh, 
this will conclude my bath. Oh.